What's up guys? It's my third day at Shanghai Disneyland and I'm exploring the park alone today because Leo wanted to go into the city and as stupid as it is to come all the way to China and not explore actual China, I just like need to see all of this park before I leave. So I'm here and I'm exploring. I'm about to do the Alice in Wonderland maze. So let's go check that out. I haven't done that yet. Other things I've done today include eating at the Tangled Tavern, which is like the Snuggly Duckling. I went through the Snow White walkthrough, which was super cute. And now I'm in the Alice maze. pick a door for us and the purple door open for us so I guess I'm going through the purple door. Where does that door go? There's cute wallpaper. Alright so I can't read these signs. It looks like tea party, queen of hearts, uh, and other things I don't know. Oh white rabbit. Okay. <laughs> and we kind of found a giraffe. What's this scary door? So this part of the maze is like all animals. This maze, by the way, is Tim Burton Atlas themed. We got like this squirrel buddy, squirrel buddy right here. And then over here, we got butterfly buddy, butter buddy, butterfly buddy. And we're approaching a tunnel. We'll see where it leads. It is a maze. Ooh, So this is like the Queen of Hearts garden. Um, there's like a stretching mirror over here. And there's like a big queen head over there, which I want to go see. Um, lots of people taking pictures with her, but I definitely want a picture with her as well. Look at that big old head. Big old head. Honestly, too many people taking pictures with the queen, and I'm alone, so nobody can take my picture with her. But now we're headed into like the actual hedge maze. I'm gonna go this way since everybody's going that way. I'm just gonna go this way because whatever. Um, I'm like s nervous because I know in Paris there's animatronics in the maze, but I was looking at this maze from up above and I didn't see anything like that pops out. I know that it just leads to like the mad tea party. Here's the mad tea party. Seems like this is the end of the ex 
experience. Um, it's really neat. It's like kind of a mixture of like the animated and the live action versions. Very popular. There's a lot of people in here. I need to get a picture with one of these hats. So that was the Alice Maze. There was some uh, other tourists who spoke English who helped me take a picture with one of the hat, hatter hats. So grateful for that because selfieing that stuff was not cute. <laughs> um, there's not a lot else I like haven't done in the park. I would like to go on Pirates like again just because it's so good. And then my goal is to go on Tron at night because I've gone on it three times in the day. Um, I also want to see the parade and the fireworks. So I'm kind of just like chilling and chopping and walking and Snapchatting, I mean Instagram storying. So that's my day, it's very relaxed. So I'm going to Treasure Cove, which is where Pirates of the Caribbean is. Um, I'm pretty sure that they have a single rider for the pirates. This is Treasure Cove, by the way. Pirates themed land. Um, so I'm gonna go see if they have a single rider because that would make my solo day here a lot nicer. Hello, single rider? Yeah, do I just go? Okay, in the fast pass side? Which side? Oh, I'll ask him. Yeah. Single rider? Yeah. This one? Yes. Single. Yes. Thank you. Single rider! Yes! Really not that long of a line though. It was only like a 30 minute wait. Um, the longest I've seen it be is like an hour. But, um, Always good to just be a single rider. Officially been on that ride enough times to know where the photo's taken and make a funny face, even when going on a drop backwards. It's not that big of a drop. I love that ride so much. It's good to know that we could do single rider because I'm probably gonna go on it again before I leave. Fourth time's a charm. It's raining a little bit again. Um, I'm in Shipwreck Shore, which I have not explored, and I was not going to explore it. But then I was like, when are you gonna have another chance, Sarah? So this is like a pirate themed land. There's some like weird mist coming out of here. Mmm, mist. It's a shipwreck that you can like explore. And uh, I just got stuck. Here's a big ship. Pretty cool. That was kind of it. Um, there's like this area where you can splash cannons at each other, but it's raining, so like, why would I do that? I'm also alone. <laughs> uh, lots of cool places to take pictures though, if you aren't alone like me. Look, it's another ship. Ships on ships on ships. And then there's some more stuff that you can take pictures with over here. This ship is called Siren's Revenge. So behind me are these challenge trails, this whole like mountain, and it's kind of like the Redwood Creek challenge trail at DCA, except a million times scarier. They like full on put you in a harness and strap you into the system so you can't fall, which is good because you're like walking on ropes over like huge like ravines and like waterfalls and and like and it's just like <laughs> it's hard to explain and I couldn't film because you obviously can't have your phone because I think they're afraid of people dropping their phone so the only footage online is of people who brought GoPros that like strap on their head or their body but I think I have to like make Leo come back and do this with me because he would like really like it <laughs> it's intense 
you should do it if you come to Shanghai. It's really cool. And like, I can't believe they put that here. So I watched a little bit of Mickey's storybook parade. sat down here at Remy's, which is like a bakery, and I've been charging my phone in the wall for like an hour and a half, and it's charged about 20% in an hour and a half. Um, luckily, like I don't really have to do anything else today. Like my goals are to go on Tron at night and see the fireworks, so I'm just waiting here for a new friend who I've never really met except for yesterday. She lives in China, and we're gonna hang out and get dinner, so I'm just waiting for her to get here while my phone charges. And then we'll continue the day. I wanted a little snack, so I got this cute Donald cupcake. It's chocolate, so I'm just gonna eat it on camera, because that's what I do, I guess. So I think this part is white chocolate. It doesn't taste like white chocolate. <laughs> this is weirdly tasting lemony to me. Even though it's like... <laughs> I got it. <laughs> it almost fell on the ground, but I got it. <laughs> what a freaking mess I am. Yikes. Alright. Wiping that off on my backpack. I'm just happy I didn't drop my cupcake. All good. Over here. terrible job vlogging today but that's because my phone was running out of battery and then I was with friends who I didn't know are far comfortable being in vlogs but I guess I could have asked but I was too awkward about it look at this beautiful bridge I'm walking over those fountains over there are like the entrance to the resort this is like a nice walk back to the hotel which is over there Disney Town is behind me um, I had a great day. We went on Pirates together, we went on Tron at night, which I really wanted to do, and we saw uh, the fireworks show. It's like not really a fireworks show, it's like a fireworks mixed with map projection on the castle and uh, like a little bit of world of color in there, and it was just a really good day. Like I got a lot of this stuff done that I hadn't done previous days here. Can't say there's not a few things that I have left to do, but if I don't go back into the park tomorrow, I'm set. So I'm really happy. So now I'm just headed back to the hotel and I can't wait to hear how Leah's night and day in the city was. And this lighting is really weird. Maybe I'll finish this vlog up in the hotel because the lighting is so weird. I made it back to the room. So I just wanted to say thanks to Molly and Holly for hanging out with me today. Um, we watched Ignite the Dream and they really taught me a lot about Shanghai. Ooh, I have to sneeze. And, uh, you know, just a lot of things. It's really cool to meet people who, like, live here. And, like, and this is, like, their home park for the time being. It's really cool. So, um, I'll have their social media down below, even though they weren't even in this vlog. Because they're great. And if you want to see, like, and hear more about Shanghai Disneyland, then you should follow them. Unless I go to the parks tomorrow, that is my last vlog from Shanghai. So, thanks for watching and joining me on the journey. Hope that you got to see a little bit more of the park and, and experience it with me. And I'll see you guys next time. Part of the video on this channel.